How did I become a comedian? I uh, I got dumped. I got broken up. My heart was broken. And then my buddy Nick Fields, we were on a project together, and I was just being a sad boy, like, she left me. She's my heart's broken. And he's like, dude, now's the perfect time to go try comedy. You've always talked about wanting to do it, so he took me to an open mic at Hyenas Dallas, and I haven't stopped ever since. So I decided the brilliant idea to go full time comedian in uh, March, and then. Uh, COVID came and said no 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 and uh, so it's been it's been a struggle like I was slated to be at least on the road three weekends a month until November and then instantly you start losing gigs 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 and I was just like whoa at first it was scary but then things started coming back here and there in the more open states and like financially I was doing fine with the uh, with the unemployment but it, it took a toll on me mentally, where just going from being out every night, being around all my friends, funny friends, being able to go on stage, make strangers laugh, it is a drug for me. Like, I have an addictive personality. Most comics on me have addictive personalities. And uh, I, I, I did some drugs. I was drinking heavily. So for me, just to... I felt like I had to get back out there just for like a mental cleanliness because I was going crazy at home. Comedy is all about being in the room and being around people because there's an energy that's in the room that you don't get on a virtual show or that you don't get on online content. It, you might think it's funny, but you're not going to express yourself like on the bus watching a clip on your phone or on the couch. So it's like, that's the one shitty thing about stand-up. It's like, it has to be done live. So that's why I'm hoping something happens, like a vaccine comes out soon or something that so we can start opening back up and we can start doing shows at full capacity. Virtual comedy is like, I just, I can't. I can't get on board with that because that's what this is about is the energy. And it's like, yes, we are exposing ourselves to COVID and then we could die. But I don't give a fuck because I just have to. Well, it's I think it's funny. It's like, imagine killed. if we survived the whole quarantine and this killed us. You know what I mean? It's, it was already killing me. I mean, it killing it. I'm but I'm the same way. The virtual yeah. shows, the virtual shows are, uh, the whole point of comedy is it's confrontation. Yeah, I mean, what you do is a lot of confrontation. What we all do is a lot of confrontation. So the whole point of it to me is like to engage in that confrontation. That's what makes it funnier. Yeah. If comedy, if they said, hey, comedy clubs don't exist anymore, comedy's all virtual. I think I would quit. I think I would focus more on maybe comedic writing for TV and film, but I would not be a stand-up because to me it's just not, it's not what I joined it for. I like making, I want people's real reactions, real time, in the room. So that's the way to do it.